gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? The show starts in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Welcome everyone. Today we're going to do another quick review. We have some Auto World Premiums to look at today. I have two. Limited Edition, one of 6,800 1975 Buick Estate Wagons. We have one in the Factory Silver Poly, Silver Mist, and we also have another one and the Verd Mist Poly Green. Let's get them cracked open and take them for a spin. Station wagons are probably my most favorite die cast of all. I really like these Auto World True 164 scale wagons even though they're a little larger than most of my collection. They're so unique and so detailed how can you not collect them this would be I think I have four of these now the other two I have are in different colors I was only able to find these two so I don't have any of these in the eBay store unfortunately these are going into my personal collection so without further ado let's check them out We'll start with the silver. The silver with the red interior. Uh, when I was a kid, I actually seen a lot of these driving around. When I was in high school, there was a woman that worked there. She had one the same color scheme. Her name was Rhoda. I think she was with security or maybe she was worked in the lunchroom. I can't really remember. It's been so long ago. But she had the same one, same color. The green and the green one, I can't really say I've ever seen one of those in person, but I have seen a lot of the, these in silver. So this one actually brings back quite a few memories. <laughs> yeah, it looks fantastic. Man, the luggage rack looks great. I really love the red interior. And these factory wheels they had, these factory mag wheels, what a great choice for wheels. I, I, I remember seeing these. Even the four-door Electras had these similar style wheels. It's like a tank in the back. These things are huge. It says on the package that this is the largest station wagon ever built. And I, I think I believe it. It's pretty damn big. Very cool. I'm going to move this one over to the holding area. I found this, I guess it's a pie pan. I found it the other day and I thought it would make a great garage floor. It looks like oil stains and stuff on it. I think I'm going to turn this into a round barn and fill it up with cars. But we're going to use this as a place to put our vehicles for now. You can see I got this Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas that we did the other day. Let's go ahead and get the green wagon opened up this is the I guess this I should have read the packages this is release 2 version B and the other one is release 2 version A I'm pretty sure wow the green with the metal flake is very nice looking beautiful I love the green interior the wood grain on the side looks amazing the emblems are all there the details are just outstanding 
license plate looks great. The Buick logo. So nice. Nice. <laughs> Boy. These were such fine cars. And you don't see them very often anymore. I don't know when it was the last time I seen one of these in real life. It's been a long time. The only difference in these two and the other ones that I have, I think the other two that I have are towing capable. These, neither one of these have the tow ball on the back. But sometimes you can find them on eBay and add it yourself, which I've done that to a lot of my other vehicles. Like so many other pieces in my collection, I had to purchase these on eBay. I can't find what I ever want in the stores very often, but I can always find what I'm looking for on eBay. If you feel like making a contribution to the channel, you can check out my eBay store. I have tons of things there. I don't, I don't have any more Auto Worlds right now. I do have some Hot Wheel Premiums and regular Hot Wheels and Matchbox and some other odds and ends. If you feel like making a contribution to the channel, please check out the store. If you want. If you can. Or if you just like watching the uh, reviews and occasional customs, go ahead and subscribe and ring that bell. That way you can stay up to date on what we're adding to the eBay store and what we're adding to the channel. We just did a review the other day on the 59 Cadillac you see there. I just love station wagons. I can't get enough of them. I just can't pass them up. They could produce this one in hot pink and I'd probably still buy it. I guess this about sums up our quick review. The only thing we didn't do was maybe open the hoods, but it'll probably take me a minute to get the hood open. Let's go ahead and open the hoods on these and take a peek at the engines. Kind of like I suspected, the hood's only gonna rise about one third of the way it should. So you're not really gonna see much in there and it feels like you're gonna break something if you pry it any higher than that. So I don't even know what the point is but buyer beware if you find these don't expect the hoods to open all the way they're not opening on mine all the way I don't think I'm pretty sure the other two I have the hoods are about the same way you know if you can't make it work properly why why even bother just just make it with a hood that's sealed shut it just seems kind of pointless that's my only complaint and then, you know, it's not that big a deal. I don't really care if any of the doors or hood or anything opens. But it's a little deceiving when you see that line and you think it's just going to open up the way it should. I wish they'd fix that or just eliminate it, one or the other. You know, a lot of these other wagons, they make the tailgates open. Now, the tailgate doesn't open on this. So, I guess they figure they try to make the hood open. I don't know. But... Pretty good fail on the hood, working the way that it should. I guess this is going to sum up our quick review. I thank everyone so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope everyone stays safe and healthy out there. Keep on hunting, and I'll be talking to you soon.